Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an update about the Vanessa Guillen case, also about Gregory Morales and Brandon Rosgrens. So let's get this started. Now the update about Vanessa Guillen is that today in Washington DC, there was a march and the march was called I am Vanessa Guillen Bill Rally. And in this rally, Vanessa Guillen's family spoke. For example, her sister Lupe, her mother, the lawyer, and also Vanessa Guillen's small little sister named Yovana Guillen. Now what Vanessa Guillen's mother said was that she was explaining how she was watching a video and that's how she learned about Vanessa's death because before you know the family didn't really want to tell her like the the brutal story of how Vanessa died and she was watching a video and they said that Vanessa you know was murdered in the armory room and she was hammered to death and then she was you know put into a palican and then she was taken off base and you know when the mother heard that her heart dropped you know her, her mom got very hysterical she started crying she couldn't believe it you know what it is that you know you are a mother and you're hearing how your how your child died a horrible death so that's what the mother was talking about in the rally she was talking about with the i am vanessa Guillen bill that she hopes that it will save other lives of other soldiers you know because with this bill, it would help, you know, soldiers that are going through, you know, sexual harassment or sexual assault in their base. You know, this bill will help them not be scared to report it. Because a lot of the times when soldiers, especially females, are being harassed, they can't really report it, you know, to their higher ups. Because sometimes their higher ups have something to do with the sexual harassment. So with this bill, they could, you know, like have like have someone safe to talk to and make this report and they won't have to worry about any repercussions about the situation. Not only that, um, also the pop star Becky G, you know, she gave a, a speech. Um, Vanessa's sister Lupe, she was saying that you know she really wants this bill to pass you know that what happened to Vanessa is not fair you know that how she wants justice for also the other soldiers that they were found dead you know they were saying how Fort Hood needs to be investigated because a lot of soldiers you know they're scared to to come to come out and basically you know speak speak their truth about what they're going through what's happening in that base you know Lupe Guillen she had said that a soldier had went to her and he he had said that he was scared to talk to her so she said imagine if a soldier you know after they did the ceremony you know for Vanessa in Fort Hood the soldier came to her and saying that he wanted to talk to her but he was scared so imagine him being scared just to talk to her and say that he's sorry for her loss imagine him being scared to do any reportings about any bad stuff going on in that base so she's saying that you know she wants that base to be closed down just like you know Gloria Guillen you know her mother is saying they want this base to be closed down they want everything that happened in that base to come out to light they want justice for Vanessa and they want justice for the other soldiers and, you know, basically they were saying in this rally that they want a, a congressional investigation. Basically, they want to talk to Donald Trump so he could pass this bill and also put pressure to these people at Fort Hood because they feel like, you know, that it's a cover up because a lot of their questions hasn't been answered at all. So that's what they were saying in the rally um as you know as you know Vanessa besides having um 
the sister Myra Guillen and Lupe Guillen, she also has um other sibl siblings like Giovanna Guillen, which she gave a, you know, a speech about her sister saying that, you know, she will always love her sister and that her, sis her sister will never be forgotten and the, how sweet Vanessa Guillen, her sister was and how much she loves her. You know, Lupe, she mentioned that she was wearing some high heel shoes that her, that Vanessa had bought her and how much Vanessa meant to her. And, you know, Vanessa's mom, you know, she, she was saying how she wasn't feeling good, but she made sure to show up because she wants to get, you know, justice for her daughter, her baby, her everything. So after this rally, they were going to go meet up with Trump, which they did. You know, Trump was asking them questions like they were explaining to Trump how Vanessa was murdered in the armory room, which was very small and how supposedly, you know, nobody heard anything in this small little armory room and nobody came in at that time when all this was happening. She mentioned also about how, you know, her lawyer, the family's lawyer had mentioned how Vanessa was called to work that day when she wasn't supposed to and nobody knows who had called Vanessa in. The lawyer also mentioned to Trump that a lot, they're hiding a lot from the family. Um, also, the family, you know, also stated that they want to do a funeral for Vanessa, but at the moment they're not able to because they still haven't gotten her remains yet, and they would they would like to get her remains because they want to give her the proper the proper burial that she deserves and everything. Um, also, Myra Gian was talking about how when she first met um, Aaron Robinson, how she knew right there that he had something to do with it. And they were telling Trump that basically they know that there's other people involved and that it's a cover-up. They were talking about how other soldiers are really scared to, to share their stories about sexual harassment and what's happening in that base. And basically, Gloria Guillen said, why are the soldiers scared? Why, are, why don't they want to come out? Because they're scared that something may happen to them. Because... Fort Hood is hiding a lot. There's a lot of secrets that need to come out to light. Gloria again, you know, mentioned how somebody, a man had came to her and mentioned how a baby was murdered in that base and like thrown from a thrown from a high building all the way to the ground. And the man he told her that story, so Gloria again was saying that she wants that base to get investigated. And also they were talking about how there was um a sexual um prostitution, you know, trafficking ring there that a uh, sergeant was um was, you know, doing things, you know, about trafficking in that base. Like, you know, they were talking about that how all this, you know, is on the internet and stuff like that and it was in the news and why is nothing being done so basically trump said that he's going to make sure you know things are being investigated that he's going to put pressure in that base and he he even offered to pay for the funeral arrangements but the family had said that you know a lot of people are helping they had made donations and everything and that they appreciate you know him offering to help and Trump said that if they do need something you know to just let him know and that he'll pay for the funeral and Vanessa's mom you know she had mentioned also in that rally how she was so grateful how everybody's you know how everybody donated for Vanessa's burial and how you know everybody just basically helping her and her family out being there for her because she said that her her husband was not working and stuff like that. And they were kind of worried about how they were going to get, you know, the bills and everything paid. But right now, she said that thanks to everybody with their donations, they're getting their bills paid and everything. Also, a nice casket was donated to Vanessa. 
which it has a USA flag and the Mexican flag and a soccer ball and the Virgin Mary um, image on it. It's a beautiful casket. So Trump, you know, he had told the family that he's going to make sure that they receive her remains so she could get that proper burial and everything. So all this happened today. They did the rally. And then they, they did the meet up with Trump. So that's the update. You know, they just have to give Vanessa's remains. Trump is going to make sure that everything's investigated. He's going to put pressure over there in Fort Hood so everything can happen. So that's the update about the Vanessa Guillen case. Another thing that I forgot to mention was that Gloria Guillen, she had told Trump that with this bill, the I am Vanessa Guillen bill, that he's going to make history. He's going to make history because he's going to make he's going to get justice for Vanessa. And through Vanessa, all the other soldiers who are found dead will have their justice as well. And not only that, because of this bill, all the soldiers in the military, they will they will feel safe. Not only that, they're going to feel safe to report any anything, any situation going on with them, they will feel safe to report it. Also, Myra Guillen said that that day when she met Aaron Robinson, Aaron Robinson and some other soldiers that they were trying to intimidate her. That's one thing I forgot to mention. Also, for some family members of Vanessa Guillen from Mexico, like her grandmother and six aunts and uncles, they were granted a 15-day visa so they could be able to attend her funeral. So those were some other updates for the Vanessa Guillen case. Now, next, I'm going to be talking about Gregory Morales and then Brandon Rosegren. Okay, so specialist Gregory Morales, he will be laid to rest with honors in Oklahoma today. So today was his funeral. Now, the Army CID is offering up to 25000 for credible information regards his death. So that's the update for Gregory Morales. So the, for the update for Private First Class Brandon Roskrins is that he already has been laid to rest. His family wants justice for him. It was said that he was attacked at gunpoint a week before his murder, according to his father. And it's possible that the same person or people involved in that incident may be involved in his death. So I have forgot to mention that specialists... Enrique Roma Martinez, his mother and sisters were in the I Am Vanessa Guillen rally and they gave an interview during that rally, that rally saying that they want justice for Enrique. They want to find out what happened to him. And so far, the update for Enrique Roma Martinez is that the family has not been told anything that supposedly his base they're you know they're doing a private investigation and that when they find out further information they will let them know so his family is demanding justice you know and his mom was crying on tv so that's all the update i have thank you for watching like share and subscribe bye everyone